All right, guys, this map that we're going to kite today is, well, in my opinion, I think this is one of the easiest maps to beat on Hell on Earth. I did this on my very first attempt, and I even found the kiting path just by messing around. But just take this path, and you shouldn't have any problem on this map if you do everything. The main thing, of course, as always, is don't get greedy. Because like uh, my uh, contributor to my guide, uh, Cubic, my friend Cubic said, if you kill... You know, there's only like 32 Zeds on the screen at a time, I think he said. And if you kill uh, a few of them, they're gonna, more are going to spawn around you. So you have to make sure you don't jeopardize your position. You know, you always need to have room to move. If you don't have room to move, you're going to get stuck. And then that's when you're going to get problems and you're going to die. Because it doesn't take much to get cornered in this game. And then you're stuck. And then before you know it, a Gorefast has already hit you. A crawler jumped on you, siren, everything in the kitchen sink. So here's where you want to camp. And the Zeds will get stuck occasionally. They'll get stuck here. And as I love to uh, trap the flesh pounds in the doorways here, they can't really get away from it. That's why this is one of the easiest maps to kite. And you're back to the original position again. I'm telling you guys, this is this is a foolproof kiting path. I, ha I did this on my first attempt, and I did the other difficulties with very it was very easy if you do it on hell on earth obviously the rest of the difficulties are cakewalk so but you still can't get greedy as you notice i didn't stay very long but um i was trying to get the flesh pounds out of the way because i'm on wave 10 here the flesh pounds are always your number one priority when you reach uh, the higher waves uh, i always like to buy pipe bombs but as i'm i'm growing as a player i'm trying to get more i'm trying to develop more and creative ways to kill the flesh pounds uh, using a crossbow or uh, something else, but um, this is the same loadout I've used for the other videos I've done. Um, the Claymore pipe bombs is pretty much all I'm, I'm, I'm going to buy. But here again, you want to turn around and, like I said, wait for uh, kill a few, but don't get greedy because if you get greedy, they're always going to spawn behind you. And here, here, I'm just waiting on the flesh pound. I'm going to trap him. In the doorway here, he's got to walk through there, so he's going to hit it no matter what. Now, hopefully the crawlers didn't get it. Yep, see, the crawlers didn't trigger it. Now, sometimes, you know, it won't get him all the way, but he'll be wounded, and it won't take but a few hits. And if he hit, if he does rage, let him hit you, and then, because he'll go, he'll go back to normal, and then you can start kiting him again, but you got to make sure he takes at least five steps before hitting him with alt fire on the with the claymore this is an effective strategy and, a, and the one that everybody pretty much uses after five steps that he will uh, be able to be hit again if you hit him too much I think it's a certain amount of damage within two seconds so you just count his steps after five steps you're able to hit him again without him uh, raging Now every map has a has a area that is deadly. Uh, like call it a corridor of death or a danger zone. And this area right here, where you got to go through the fire area, that that area can be bad because the crawlers can drop drop on top of you, and and then the gore fast are very fast and they'll come back, they'll come hit you. But here is pretty much a safe spot. Like I said again, I can't say it enough. You cannot get greedy and don't get too far up here because you don't want them to spawn behind you. But I get I get a little greedy here. But you, you see, he's starting to spawn behind me already. See that? They're already starting to spawn. you got to be careful. Never jeopardize your position. That's the key to kiting any map. If you jeopardize your position, get flanked, uh, you're in trouble. So you have to make sure you know the layout of the map very well. And if ever you get an opportunity to take a husk out, do it, because they're a pain in the ass if you don't have a crossbow. Um, unfortunately, with this loadout, I can't carry a crossbow. Uh, you can carry a katana. And a crossbow, and I'm, I'm tinkering with that loadout for a little while. I'll, I'll let y'all know if that works out for any maps. And eventually, I know this sounds crazy, but I want to be able to kite a map with all the classes. I know it sounds impossible, but I don't know. Uh, I'm I'm a masochist. I like to challenge myself. I've done a lot of hard games in the past. I, I'm wondering, is it even possible? But we'll see. But for now, we're just going to stick to the Berserker class. If you guys want uh, to request a certain class, uh, let me know and I'll try to get good at that class, kiting a certain map. Obviously certain maps are easier than others. 
Um, this one, I think, is one of the easiest maps to kite. And one of the best things about this map is when Patty comes, you can guarantee he's going to die. Because there's a room where he can only come in one way. So all you have to do is buy, buy eight pipe bombs and run to that spot. You don't have to worry about multiple areas. It's uh, like a control room or something. I'll have to... I didn't put it in this video, but there's just one way he could come in. And all you got to do is plant eight pipes and he will die every time. Every single time. I've never had it fail on me. As long as you get there in time, hopefully the trader isn't far away from that last... Uh, from that... Um, from that control room. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this trip on Hell on Earth through Aperture. It's not that hard. This is actually, like I said, I think I thought this was one of the easiest maps I ever did on Hell on Earth uh, solo because it, it, it just, the way those tunnels are and everything. Like I said, if you just get through here, through this fire area, don't mess around in here. Don't ever kill here. Just run through this area. Don't ever stop in this area. You will die so quickly. And you'll get back to that corner. Just stay on the move. And that's it, guys. I'll see you guys next time.